Hi, I'm Kylie Ebert from Equisage Therapy. For decades now, we've been helping horse riders, trainers and owners, just like you, get the most out of their Equisage system by using it effectively to help care for their horses. Today, I'm going to show you how to do the same using our Equisage Edge Professional Set. Your Equisage Edge arrives ready to use. Your batteries are fully charged. You simply need to clip it onto the side along with your remote control. There's also room for attaching more than one battery if you have a professional set. Then simply connect the battery and you're ready to go. So your Equisage comes with a saddle blanket. You don't necessarily have to use it. It's to keep the gear clean. You can use it over a rug or a towel if they've had a wash off. Your backpack goes on just like a saddle. Wherever it sits comfortably. And the breastplate keeps it nice and secure. It doesn't need to be riding tight, just tight enough so it's not going to slip. To turn on your Equisage, you have a wireless remote. Hit the power button and it defaults to the lowest intensity. You choose your time in 10 minute increments. We recommend a 20 minute treatment session. Once the horse starts licking and chewing, we generally know they're relaxed and you can turn up the intensity. Your Equisage Edge has three therapy settings. These can be adjusted by hitting the massage button on your remote control. The first is CPM, cyclopolymodulation. This is a pulse setting. Think of it for rehabilitation and recovery. It targets the muscular system, so it's very activating and stimulating. It's also great to use on your hand units on the legs when you have any swelling, such as a hoof abscess or any edema. The second setting is TS, which stands for tranquil sage. This, as the name suggests, is very relaxing. It helps to reduce heart rate, regulate breathing. It's targeting the nervous system, so it's also really good for treating the symptoms of colic. Thirdly, there's the standard treatment, which is just great for general warm-up and circulation. So once your horse is relaxed and is used to the back pad, we can introduce the hand unit at the shoulder, remove your breastplate, hold the vents towards yourself, and introduce it through your own hand first. Then it's just a case of using it like a slow brush. Nice long strokes evenly across the muscles. You really can't do it wrong, just avoid the bony areas when you can. Using the hand unit directly up the windpipe is great for any respiratory issues. Hold it on the brisket and it will help to break down any mucus. The hand unit comes with a rubber cup attachment which works like a conductor to treat bony areas and joints, particularly the pole and the TMJ joint. So whilst the back pad is going to treat the whole horse, it's a great idea to use the hand unit to maximise the results by treating the lumbar, sacroiliac, glutes and hamstrings. Do each muscle group in sections, half a dozen passes over each muscle group will really help to release any tension. Because of the larger muscle groups in the hindquarter, you can afford to turn up the intensity. They tend to lean into you and respond really well when you're in a good spot. So just watch for their responses. 
A good tip for treating stifle injuries and issues is to use your rubber cup against the stifle joint. A standard treatment is 20 minutes with a back pad and 15 minutes on each front leg. To treat legs, we put the hand unit into your tendon boot and attach it to the leg. It goes at a 45 degree angle. If you hold it with your own knee, you can reach around and pull each strap nice and tight so it's snug and it's not going to slip. Then you simply plug it into your spare battery on the back pad. When you turn on the hand unit, a horse will generally pick up his leg. Just give it a rub. Once he's used to it, you can turn up the intensity to around medium. It's great for treating any old injuries, scar tissue, but abscesses and any sort of filling or edema.